it's Nancy today. I'm out here at Sedge Meadow in Sedge Meadow. That's because the meadow is made of is got sedge plants in it. See this is sedge. This one here. So I call it Sedge Meadow. Soon I'll have to call it Loose Strife Meadow. This is all canary grass. This is purple loose strife. It does have a pretty flower, but it takes over the whole world. Anyway, so I'm down here. I made myself a little pathway down from the road and I checked out the tamaracks. Some of them are looking very good. A few of them don't. And some of my posts, there's nothing there at all. So I'm not sure what happened there. I had put posts in for the um, for Scythia that I planted. Planted lots of or posts uh, stuck in pieces of forsythia, lots of them. So I was hoping that they would all grow. But I have had no success with that, I don't think. I think I should plant some of them along the pond. Forsythia is so undervalued. Forsythia in the spring, when nothing is growing yet, the forsythia will flower. It will flower before anything. And so, I don't know if it's before the crocuses, but when you're desperate for some color and you've had this long, long cold winter and everything has been white and you're ready for something beautiful, there is the yellow forsythia. So I think it's important to propagate forsythia and put them everywhere that you want to see yellow. I love yellow. It's my favorite color. See, these are false sunflowers. They're in bloom now. Actually, they're almost over. They're pretty much over. But if we get a warm Indian summer, then we won't have, um, they, they might bloom again. We have had things rebloom in November. Imagine that. Okay, look at this. Something has eaten the top of this. And I know it's a deer because you see how it's been pulled off? It hasn't been cut cleanly. And that one's cut off too. Or maybe somebody came along and broke off the tops of the... Ooh, that's a woolly bear. Those let you know how long your winter's going to be. According to this, it's going to be a long, long winter. Hmm. Of course, you can't really put a lot of stock in those things, since I never know. Sometimes the black and the brown are the same on both ends. It goes brown, black, brown, or black, brown, black, or something. and It's hard to tell any difference of any of them, so I never know which one's which. It does look these have been... Well, it's perhaps the deer have enjoyed them. See, there's one that's been cut off. Hmm. I don't know. But if it was the deer, if it were the deer... See, so here's another one. This has got something coming out of the top of it. No, it doesn't. Oh well. So today I'm just puttering. I have puttered around on this pathway to come down here. I like it down here. Now that the bugs are pretty done, it's a good time to come down here. It's a good place. I think I'm going to cover the outside of the teepee with black to make it hide. I like the hiding of it. It's really good. I think I ate something just now. It got stuck in my teeth. Some plant, I guess. Oh well. Okay, so that's me, and this is what I'm doing. I thought I heard a deer, but then I think it was my foot squishing into the water that made it sound like the snort of a deer. <laughs> you only make one. Okay, bye.